I remember the original Johnny English as being like Austin Powers, but without the innuendo, jokes, cast, catchphrases, music, psychedelia, midgets, or potential for merchandising. It did have Natalie Imbruglia in it, which is good if you think that she is good, but not good if you do not think that she is good. It's important to remember that its sequel, Johnny English Reborn, is a film that targets an audience of British children and German adults. Its blend of visual gags and crotch-based humour attempts to transcend the boundaries of language and make itself appealing in mainland Europe. If you like seeing a man get hit in the genitals over and over again, not in the accidental internet video style but in the deliberately staged movie format, then Johnny English Reborn might be quite fulfilling for you. If, on the other hand, you prefer your comedy to be based on things that are said rather than things that are hammered into the pant area, then perhaps you might want to look elsewhere. The irrelevant plot sees Rowan Atkinson return as English, enunciating the out of every single line of dialogue and involving himself in some double agent tomfoolery and a plot to kill the Chinese Premier. Gillian Anderson, Dominic West and Rosamund Pike round out the unnecessarily prestigious leading cast. English even gets a perky but pointless school-age psychic in the form of Daniel Kaluuya as Special Agent Tucker. Johnny English Reborn is no worse than its predecessor, which is to say that it is lazy and largely unfunny. It is to satirical spoofs what a cuddle is to full set and it targets the lowest common denominator in the audience, which is a five-year-old with damp trousers and drool-drenched licorice laces cascading from its snot-rimmed mouth.